Hello, George Romanich here. Both you and I breathe air. In one breath of air, there is approximately 10 to power 22 molecules of air. You approximately inhale one liter of air with each breath, average breath. And one liter of air is 10 to power 22 molecules. One followed with 22 zeros. Most of these molecules are nitrogen, about 78%, 21% oxygen, and then 1% and less argon and other trace gases. That's an astonishing number. But perhaps even more bombastic question for sure is how many molecules of air is in the entire atmosphere that is surrounding us? You will see in today's video, it's rather easy to calculate it. If you know a little bit about atmospheric sciences and perhaps Dalton's law of partial pressures, which is very, very simple, and I introduced it a few videos ago. If you stick around, you will see that it is really easy, and you can impress people in disco clubs very easily with this calculation. If you stick around until the end of this video, you will see that there is another number that will blow your mind. Let's start. If you take a volume of air like this, any volume of air, that volume of air will have a bunch of molecules and atoms of air. 78% of these molecules is nitrogen N2, and about 21% is oxygen O2. So you can see that these two together will sum up to 99% of air that we breathe. And for practical applications, we will only inclu include these two in our calculation. We could add argon and then improve this calculation, but doesn't matter. Let M1 be mass of one nitrogen molecule. Similarly, let M2 be mass of one oxygen molecule. Now let's look into not one molecule, but many molecules. So if I say that N1 is the total number of nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere, then N1 times M1 is the total mass of nitrogen molecules in the atmosphere. One more time, if M1 is mass of one molecule and there are N1 molecules of nitrogen in the atmosphere, then N1, M1 is the total mass of all of them. Similarly, N2, M2 is the total mass of all oxygen molecules in the atmosphere. However, the issue is I do not know N1 and N2. But what I do know is that N1 plus N2 is capital N, and that is total number of all molecules in the atmosphere. And clearly, N is what we are after in this video. Looking into these two definitions, you can right away conclude that N1, M1, total mass of all nitrogen molecules, plus N2, M2, total mass of all oxygen molecules, will be capital M, total mass of the atmosphere. In my previous video, we calculated that the total mass of the atmosphere is 5.2 times 10 to power 18 kilograms. It's a very short five minute long video that demonstrates how to calculate this magnificent number. To find n, I will divide this equation by n. So I will get that n1, m1 divided by n plus n2, m2 divided by n is equal m divided by n. Now you can see we get these quantities over here. So what is N1 divided by N? That is a relative percentage of nitrogen molecules in the air, which we know is 78%. Similarly, N2 over N is a relative percentage of 
oxygen molecules in the air and we can see it's 21%, 0.21. Well, that means that 0.78 M1 plus 0.21 M2 is equal capital M over N. Or from here, you can easily deduce that N is equal capital M divided by 0 0.78 M1 plus 0 0.21 M2. And if you plug in these numbers, you will get that this is 1.1 times 10 to power 44. There are 10 to power 44 molecules in the air in this beautiful atmosphere of ours. And this result is accurate up to 99% because these two molecules make up 99% of the air. If you paid attention throughout this video, you notice there is an interesting relationship between the total number of air molecules in the atmosphere, which is 10 to power 44, and the number of air molecules in one of your breaths, 10 to power 22. You see, in one breath, you inhale 10 to power 22 molecules of air, and the entire atmosphere has 10 to power 44 molecules of air. That means there is a total of 10 to power 22 breaths in this atmosphere. Imagine if you could sit somewhere and you breathe normally. When you inhale air, one liter of air, you take in 10 to power 22 molecules. Imagine, it's an imaginary experiment, so imagine each breath you take, you do not return anything. That air just disappears in your lungs. How many breaths could you take before you consume all air in our atmosphere? The answer is 10 to power 22 breaths. Because each breath has 10 to power 22 molecules, and therefore that's the total of 10 to power 44, and that's the total number of molecules in our atmosphere. Isn't that astonishing? Nature and atmosphere is full of these interesting relationships. And therefore, you should study it. When you know atmospheric sciences and physics in general, you will walk down the street looking at the world around you through different lenses, so to speak. That's what I do. I just walk around and I am obsessed with all natural phenomena. How wind blows, how trees bend how different leaves have different colors, how sun is 150 million kilometers away from me, and yet there is this light hitting my eyes. It took that light perhaps hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of years to come out from the core of the sun. Then it gets to the surface of the sun. It travels 150 million kilometers. It could have gone in any given direction, and yet it came right into my eye so I can see it. This has absolutely nothing to do with the number of molecules in the atmosphere, where it just crossed my mind in this very moment, so I decided to say it. Make sure you share this video with your enemies, perhaps even friends and family. Until the next video, goodbye.